Hey guys, Overkill here again for another video. Today, we're going to look at the Injustice Gods Among Us Bane from Storm Collectibles. This is a massive figure. Just released. This is my first import for 2020. And I'm super stoked to get this guy. So, let's start by looking at the box. First, we'll see a little bit of the artwork of the figure here. On the side, we see Bane. On the opposite side, just some artwork at the top. This shows you Injustice Gods Among Us. Then the bottom, some of the information. When we get to the back, it shows some of the different poses and stuff you can do with them. And he doesn't have a lot of parts, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. So, let's go ahead and get this open. And check out the contents of the box. Here he is outside of his box and his clam shown. You can see he has four additional hands, two for each side. Really cool. Really stoked about this guy. Here he is outside the clamshell. We can start looking at him. I mean, he's really nice piece. The green on the tubing looks really cool, and it's flexible. The mask doesn't come off. It's on the head. And this is the Injustice version. It'd been cool if we had came for like a comic accurate version of the mask, but it's cool nonetheless. Look at that. That's actually a little bit loose. Nothing bad. It goes back down. Coloration on him looks really good. Got some soft goods. A couple different spots, I guess, to allow for better movement. And we'll start with the head. Can look up pretty far. Not too much down due to the hoses, but the neck itself is soft. A lot of soft goods in this upper area. With the arms, surprisingly, can go up pretty high. See here. And not quite straight down, but pretty good. And it's got pretty good rotation until the hose limits it. But it does have a upper cut. And then it does have movement at the shoulder. Oh, not quite a butterfly joint per se, but it's it's got some movement there. You see it pops out a little bit to allow better movement. And then at the elbow, we do have double jointed elbows if you can take advantage of them. And it goes straight out. Then we get to the wrist. It's got more soft goods. Got full rotation and movement, obviously, because you can change the hands out. Same thing on the other arm. We get to the chest. You can see here, due to this soft, you can go down a little bit, but the hose is hindered again, which is all right because that's the way he's designed. And then we we'll go back this far. If you use the stomach with it, you can bend over pretty good. And back, fairly good amount too, thanks to the way that they implemented the soft goods on it. And then we do have rotation in both areas and swivel. So when we get to the legs, it's limited again due to the hoses, but you can see, go back a little bit. And up about that far. Really needs work. He could about do a split. I mean, so he's got pretty good movement in his legs. Just got to get them worked and hopefully not break them. But yeah, it's on a little ball joint in there. And it allows really good movement. And then next it is the knee, which is double jointed. Here. And then with the kneecap kind of the way it's positioned, it allows you to go straight. And then we have... No turn at the ankle, it looks like. Just a pivot. You can go a little bit each direction. The toes go up a little. And back down. They got little spikes on them. It's pretty cool. Same thing on the other leg. And that's really cool. So we'll stand them back up and we will take a look at the hands. Here we have an open hand. Is really cool getting ready to grab a hold of Batman and break his back and then the other hand is very similar just the fingers are a little bit off on it as opposed to just all being bent the same on this one almost more like a taunt or he's holding somebody's skull or something which would be pretty cool which is coincidentally what I want this guy for to go with my Mortal Kombat collection that I'm going to start on so yeah that's really cool the other the other side is the same so we won't worry about it 
We'll try to get this guy in somewhat of a position here. Here you see, it's pretty cool. But we'll go back to the original hand that was on them, and I'll show you some size comparisons because that's what you want to see next. I'm sure to get an idea of how big this guy is. If you're playing Mortal Kombat versus DC, this is the scale comparison you would have. Here is the Storm Collectibles Scorpion. He's looking at the challenge to come, but Scorpion's not going to back down from this fight. Next, Gwenpool, who looks so tiny in comparison. You see she's trying to get a selfie in. It sends way over top of her. I think his arm is about as big as her. And it is. His leg pretty close. And then lastly is the SH Figure Arts Broly. Which was one of my biggest figures I had up until this point. So see if we can get him to stand straight. You'll get a good size comparison between the two here. You can see Bane stands over top of this Burly quite a bit. He's a whole head above Burly. It's pretty impressive. That's all I'm going to do for size comparisons. It's a quick look at Bane. Once again, you get the figure. You get the spare hands. For each side. So that's pretty cool. Not a lot to lose. He doesn't need a lot of accessories. He's a big bruiser. He's there to beat people up. I mean, I'm really impressed with him. I like the way that they added in some of the soft goods. To kind of make this more bendable than he would have been, really, without it. I mean, just the articulation on the guy is beautiful. I love how this is made on the back. If I were to have one dream request to come with it, I would like to have had a comics accurate um, face form to change out. That would have been really cool. Definitely going to have to work on these legs a lot. But yeah, this is the Storm Collectibles Bane from Injustice, Gods Among Us. This is my first and only from the line so far. Thank you for watching. As always, I bid you all farewell.